Hi everyone. So there's been several stories in the news lately regarding various events and all of them are coded fakery pointing in the same direction towards the crash of the economy. The first one I want to mention is NASA says an asteroid is headed our way before election day in the United States. This is what I was talking about in the previous video regarding asteroid 2018 V. P1. So this article on CNN is laughable, but <laughs> uh, it says, well, 2020 keeps getting better all the time. I mean, this is CNN and this is very casual writing for a news story. And it's really not a news story. It's just, it's just code to get out information to people who are paying attention and namely the elites who are watching certain channels to get codes and information in order to fulfill the obligations of what is to come. There are certain things that need to unfold in a certain sequence before they pull the trigger on switching from fiat to blockchain. So this article, quote unquote article, says amid a pandemic, civil unrest and device divisive U.S. election season, we now have an asteroid zooming towards us on the day before the presidential vote, no less. Yep. <laughs> the celestial object known as 2018 VP1 is projected to come close to Earth on November 2nd. According to the Center for Near Earth Object Studies at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it was first identified at Palomar Observatory in California 2018. Asteroid 2018 VP1 is very small, approximately six and a half feet, and poses no threat to Earth. If it were to enter Earth's atmosphere, it would disintegrate due to its relatively small size, NASA said in a statement. So then why are you even telling people about it? Well, the reason they're telling people about it is because it's code. NASA has been directed by Congress to discover 90% of the near-Earth asteroids larger than 140 meters or 459 feet in size and reports on asteroids of any size. NASA says that based on 21 observations spanning 12.968 days, <laughs> the agency has determined that the asteroid probably whew, won't have a deep impact, let alone bring Armageddon. That's why I made the video, because it's such a joke. The chance of it hitting us is just 0.41% data shows. CNN has reached out to NASA for additional and updated information, but has not heard back. So NASA is like, oh, there's an asteroid that's not coming to Earth. It's a non-event, essentially, but we're not going to get back to you to tell you any more information. We just make one statement saying that it's not going to enter Earth's atmosphere. There's nothing to worry about, but we're going to tell you about it anyway, just to make you know that we're doing our job. If you look up VP1, VP1 is also a protein in viruses. It is also a programming language, what they call virtual machine architecture. I think it's worth reviewing what this virtual machine architecture is and what it does. The physical device on which virtual machines work is known as host, whereas the virtual machines are known as guest types of virtual machines. The virtual machine works like a computer and is sandboxed from the rest of the host system. The software within the guest cannot make changes to the software of the host, thus the virus files See, this is again a connection to virus. The virus files can be tested using the virtual machine without affecting the main computer system. The computer software that creates and runs a virtual machine is known as hypervisor. Based on their functions, there are two different types of virtual machines, system virtual machines and process virtual machines. A system virtual machine these types of VMs provide full virtualization, acting as the substitute for a real machine. These will provide functionalities to execute an entire operating system. So here's the guest, the application, and the operating system. Here's the VMM, the virtualizing software, which is running on the host or the hardware. 
Process virtual machines. These VMs are also known as application virtual machines, managed runtime environments. This type of VM runs as a normal application inside the host operating system, supporting a single process. It is created with the starting of the process and destroyed when the process ends. Virtual machines make incompatible systems work together. What I think the actual VP1 system is, is AI and blockchain. It is connecting to existing operating systems, existing software programs, existing data, but is not interfering with that data. It is just utilizing that data and allowing those programs to work cohesively together. You can take this as an allegory or a metaphor for what is going on in the real world. Basically, the VP1 being the asteroid, the virus, and this software system, they're all aspects of the same thing as applied to this real world scenario that's going on in terms of the coronavirus and in terms of blockchain. So this video was released on a channel called Inner Focus. The title of his video is it's going to be like an asteroid hitting planet Earth. And it was an amalgamation of various videos made by Robert Kiyosaki, who is the Rich Dad Poor Dad character. He is also controlled. Bend over and kiss your butt goodbye. Because I think what we're gonna be talking about today is the biggest crash in history coming. But I think the biggest issue is how's it gonna affect your family? And so we have this pandemic sitting out here um, it doesn't seem to be getting much better in Florida, where Ted is, and Arizona, where I am. They keep shutting down the economy. I don't know how much longer we can sustain that. So when you read Who Stole My Pension, if you don't get upset, and say, how can these bastards do this to me legally? That's really the issue. And then you gotta say, well, how, what's the ripple effect from this? You know, that pension goes down, like a lot of a lot of California CalPERS, the biggest pension in America, goes down. It's going to be like an asteroid hitting planet Earth. Just hear me. It's that I talked to my peers. We were all United pilots. They were in retirement. And they lost it. So now they're working, and they're old guys. And they got families. They got kids, and they have to move in with the kids. So it, it's it's a huge hit. That you don't think about it until it happens to you. The reason I want to write the book with Ted, it happened to my father, and it happened to my friends who flew for United Airlines. So that's why you, I want you to read Who Stole My Pension, because you're gonna find out it's gonna affect a lot of people around you, especially today. I wouldn't wanna be an airline pilot. I think they're gonna furlough like 35, 40% of them. And they recently did fire a huge percentage of airline pilots. August 25th, 2020, American Airlines plans 19,000 furloughs layoffs in October. American Airlines said it will cut more than 40,000 jobs, including 19,000 through furloughs and layoffs in October as it struggles with a sharp downturn in travel because of the pandemic. Pilots has been a major feature in many of these hoax events and many of the news stories lately, such as the Snowbirds crash. Then he mentions the ripple effect which is a direct reference to Ripple, the new platform that we'll be operating on through the blockchain. He also says that you don't think about it until it happens to you, which is a major point. Most people in the world do not take action until they see evidence for taking action. We have to take action. Uh, he's sitting here with a black corvid crow raven which is symbolic of coronavirus. So crow and raven, the raven in terms of spirit animal and what it represents. When a raven totem has flown into your life, it signifies that magic is at play. The raven animal totem is sometimes called the keeper of secrets. And like all birds is a messenger between the heavens and the earth. The raven encourages us to dive deeper and to look within to seek answers to put in motion the much needed change. So here are some of the most common meanings for this power animal. Introspection, courage, self-knowledge, magic, healing, creation, rebirth and renewal, rebirth without fear, being able to tear down and rebuild, 
this is what's happening right now. Master magician, shapeshifter, mysticism, transformation of difficulties into blessings, being able to find light within the darkness, courage for self-reflection, going within, being comfortable with yourself, connecting with the crone, uh, omens, playful aspects, stir life without fear, sexuality, honoring ancestors, divination, changing consciousness, changing consciousness, new occurrences, eloquence, power of thought. The crow is a spirit animal associated with life, mysteries, and magic. Sign of luck, it is associated with the archetype of the trickster, which is Loki. Be aware of deceiving appearances. So the man who is presenting this information is deceiving you. Rich dad, poor dad will tell you some truth, but then he will lead you astray. He will tell you about pensions and tell you about layoffs, and he won't actually get to the heart of things. He won't actually tell you what's really going on. Crow symbolism, life magic mystery of creation, destiny, personal transformation, alchemy, intelligence, higher perspective, being fearless, audacious, flexibility, adaptability, trickster, manipulative, mischievous. The crow also carries the power of prophetic insight and symbolizes the void or core of creation. So these are, these are themes that I've been talking about for months now in terms of decoding all of these videos, or decoding all of this news. MGM Resorts will lay off 18,000 workers as business still lags from pandemic. August 28th, 2020, 2 10 p.m. MGM Resorts International said today it will lay off 18,000 employees for your number nine nationwide, a total representing more than 25% for your number seven of its U.S. workforce. 9 7 September 7th. The totals largely represent furloughed workers who were notified back in June that more permanent separation from the company was possible. The company is one of Nevada's largest employers that had a total of 83,000 worldwide workers prior to the pandemic. 83 for your number 11. Nevada is in the desert. Now in my previous video, two videos ago with the NBA boycott, one of the codes in there was about the desert and I've mentioned the desert before the desert is where there's no water water being maritime law and the currency system restaurants and bars are still under capacity restraints and convention businesses all but dried up for the tourist driven town dried up is code for drying up the currency system and the maritime law while we have safely resumed operations at many of our properties and have return tens of thousands of our colleagues to work or industry and country continues to be impacted by the pandemic and we have not returned to full operating capacity chief executive officer bill as in money hornbuckle now horn was another code horn or corn basically refers to the pineal gland the unicorn the horned god buckle and so that can be either brace yourself or it can be something that is perceived to be sturdy will be buckling under the pressure. Visitors to Las Vegas tumbled 61% for your number seven to 144 million in July for your number nine. So there's your September 7th again. The Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority said overall Sin City hotel occupancy was just 43% for your number seven, less than half of what it was a year ago for your five, half, 50%, five. The other news story that came up at the same time was the death of Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther star, who died at 43 for your number seven. The panther spirit animal is powerful and protective. The panther symbolizes courage, valor, and power. The panther is the symbol of the mother, the dark moon, and the power of the night. This totem animal encourages us to understand the power within the shadows and to acknowledge these powers to help eliminate our fear of the dark and the unknown. A panther also symbolizes reclamation of power. In the NBA boycott video, I mentioned that there's going to be a reversal of power, a reversal of fortune. That's what this is representing. Now, this guy's not dead, so if you're upset about it, don't be, he's not really dead. He's just an actor telling people he's dead, he's playing a part. Died Friday after a four year battle with colon cancer. Okay, now this is gonna be a little bit disgusting, but it has to be said. Colon cancer, 
colon is basically when the shit hits the fan, you're gonna shit yourself. And the Chadwick Bozeman, in terms of slang, now there's multiple words for this, but basically it, it represents the perineum. It's also slang for uh, sexually active alpha male. One of the meanings is something that is rubbish or unworthy. What's rubbish and unworthy is the existing monetary system. And Chad Wick. Wick is like a, a wick and a candle. To dip one's wick is to engage in sexual intercourse. So that has this dual meaning, the slang for prick, which would be a penis. Wick is also a financial term. These, this is a candle graph. And when it candles, it goes high. When it wicks, it goes low. You see that green candle come up? You see what happens? It comes back through and it comes down to the 100 and actually through the 100, right? So that it could wick all the way back, all the way down to the 24, even maybe possibly 23 cents. Bose means to seek for hollows underground by ramming the ground and observing the vibrations. Vibrations, frequency, energy. 1929, stock market crash. Ultimately from the Scottish word boss, hollow, empty. As a small cask or wine flask, in my transcript to C's video, I mentioned the leavening where you have the six hollow vessels that are to be filled with water to be turned into wine. The mother is Jerusalem, the higher self. Galatians 4.26 King James Version. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Tells the disciples to do as Jesus says. Take six empty stone water pitchers and fill them with water. The six lower chakras of the emotions, the water. And when you take the emotions and transmute or purify them and present them to the governor, the, the pilot, the steerer, the captain, the head, the crown chakra, the seventh chakra, the head of the banquet, the bank, the table, the ankh, the feast, the temple. The pictures were used for purification, the process of leavening. It turns water into wine. I think this situation is the physical representation of what is happening in the spiritual with the turning the water into wine, the water being the maritime law, turning it into an, a monetary system that operates off of our energy. And this is the physical representation of what is happening spiritually of turning water into wine. And so there are, there are two levels to this possibly multiple levels to this. This is why they use code or allegory because everything has multiple meanings. So Chadwick Boseman was the star of Black Panther and he died on Friday. Now since Chadwick references the burning of the useless money and Boseman is empty vessel, this suggests that on Friday, the currency is going to be worthless. The financial system is going to die, so to speak. That's my interpretation. I am not a financial advisor. Do not take this as financial advice. Before he was cast as the Marvel Studios superhero, Bozeman's career first exploded, explosion, pop off, his portrayals of black American icons, Jackie Robinson and James Brown. Again, reference to the same story of LeBron James in the NBA boycott. Chadwick was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer in 2016 and battled with it these last four years as it progressed to stage four for your number seven, stage three to stage four, number seven. We are all heartbroken by the tragic loss of Chadwick Boseman. So heartbroken, again, I've referenced this in my video, Seattle Grace, you have to be heartbroken in order to go through the leavening process. Black Panther, T'Challa is crowned king of Wakanda following his father's death, but he is challenged by Killmonger who plans to abandon the country's isolationist policies and begin a global revolution. That's why they use this character, because of this movie, Begin a Global Revolution. We're going through a process of global revolution or worldwide revolution. Plot, thousands of years ago, five, there's their number five again, with the five uh, game five reference, African tribes war over a meteorite with reference to the asteroid containing the metal vibranium. Vibranium is a fictional metal appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics noted for its extraordinary abilities to absorb, store, and release large amounts of kinetic energy. 
That's the blockchain. That is cryptocurrency, basically running off of energy. For those of you who follow me, you know that I watched this gentleman. On um, August 28th, this video came out. Uh, the reading is about the full moon in Pisces, the 1st and 2nd of September. I'll just show you what he has to say. Calm is the divine spark. So the divine spark is being transformed. It's like Hagel is hail. It's, um, it's like a tempest and there's been a tempest here for the last few days. And the whole point of Hagel is it's talking about how a tempest can blow in, a volcano can erupt. We do have that real energy of uh, volcanic activity. It's been with me all day, but I don't like, I don't like saying that um, volcanoes are going to start erupting because that's a very disturbing notion. It's more, it's not erupting, it's more um, like lava trickles. There's something about it because there's, the, the, the idea with the tempest that came in was that it was a massive energy wave, but actually how very incredibly cleansing and beautiful it was. Um, I'm getting something to do with something going on in Switzerland. That I don't know, but it has something to do with a revelation so whether I'm getting that real sense of the banking industry um, so maybe this volcanic uh, is not so much volcanoes but it's a wind of change it's an energy of something coming to the surface to do with global banking and the economy um, some that's very odd. But I'm definitely getting Switzerland. I, it's there. So, um, can we have some messages that are actually for us? Something traumatic sparking up and firing up within the global economies right now. But that could be one of these revelations that has to come out. You know, uh, when Gaia Uranus, is in retrograde, um, there's that real sense of the ability to shake things up um, which is what awakens people so maybe there is some kind of lightning because we've got lightning and lightning and, and I'm now the cards are spiraling into a kind of chaos but it's like a calm chaos that's the weirdest thing it's that sense of if you remain in the frequency of balance with this full moon in Pisces, so very dreamy, very emotional, very water connected, very loving, very open, these things won't get you because it feels like, um, it's like something will reveal itself, but it won't be the solution. It will be the beginning of something new. And that's going to cause yet another layer of this kind of flapping that goes on with most people. So he seems to think that it's going to be a smooth transition for certain people if you're in a specific state. So uh, I would imagine that people who are awake and aware of what's going on and have prepared themselves will have a smoother transition than people who are not. But this is my interpretation. You take what you can or what you want from his interpretation. So just to summarize what I extract from all of this information is there's likely to be a revelation in the banking industry around September 1st or 2nd. Chadwick Boseman died on a Friday, so it's likely that the cash will be devalued or worthless, drop, burn, or crash on a Friday. And the number of codes for 7797, which is September 7th, suggests that the crypto will rise on Monday. Boseman, or the empty vessel, is a water vessel, which is about turning the water, the maritime system, into wine, or the energy system, or the crypto system. VP1 is the asteroid, the virus, and the computer system. 
it represents all three. The AI blockchain is also running alongside the existing systems that is the VP1 system. Now NASA suggests that the asteroid 2018 VP1 is scheduled to arrive November 2nd, 2020, which is 11-2 or 2-2 or 4x4. Perhaps this is the day that the blockchain is made public. And November 3rd or 11-3, which is 33, is the United States Election Day. So we'll see what happens then. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And I thank you for your support and your contributions. Links to contribute for more information and backup channels can be found in the description box below. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.